ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಶೋಕ್ ಸ್ವರೂಪ್ ಎಂ ಡಿ ಕಾರ್ಪೊರೇಟ್ ಆಫೀಸ್ ಅಫೇರ್ಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಪಂಕಜ್ ವೇಶ್ ಎಂ ಡಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಜನರಲಿ ವಿಜ್ ಟು ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟರ್ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಪೊರೇಟ್ ಸೆಕ್ಟರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಎ ನ್ಯೂ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೀ ನ್ಯೂ ಆಡಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಹೂ ವಿಲ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ನ್ಯೂ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಫಾರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಅಸೆಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕಂಪನೀಸ್ ಫಂಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜರ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೈವೇಟ್ ಇಕ್ವಿಟಿ ಎಫ್ ಐ ಐ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಅವೇರ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಈಸ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆಲ್ ಓವರ್ ದಿ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ನಾವು ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ರೀಚ್ ಡಬಲ್ ಡಿಜಿಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿ ಅಮೆರಿಕ ಯುರೋಪ್ ಚೈನಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆಸ್ ಆನ್ ಟುಡೇ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಅಮೆರಿಕ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಗ್ರೋ ಫೋರ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಈವನ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಈವನ್ ಇನ್ ಜಪಾನ್ ನಾವು ಒಂದು ದೆರಿಜ್ ಎ ಡೌನ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಟ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಈವನ್ ಇನ್ ಚೈನಾ ಟಿಲ್ ಎಸ್ಟರ್ ಡೇ ದೇ ಡೂ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ಲಿ ವೆಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಟುಡೇ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಡೌನ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಟೆಂಡೆನ್ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ರೀಸೆಂಟ್ ಬಡ್ಜೆಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ರೇಟ್ ಬಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಏಟ್ ಟು ಏಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಒನ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ರೀಚ್ ಡಬಲ್ ಡಿಜಿಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ವೆಲ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ವಿಲ್ ರೀಚ್ ಡಬಲ್ ಡಿಜಿಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಸಸ್ಟೈನಬಲ್ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಓವರ್ ಎ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಡಿಕೇಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ವೆಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಟೂ ಡಿಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಮೀ ದಿಸ್ ಡಿಕೇಟ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೂ ವೆಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಬೈ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ಡೌಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೂ ವೆಲ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ಆರ್ ಅಮಾಂಗ್ ಟೂ ಕಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಡೆಮೋಗ್ರಫಿಕ್ ಡಿವಿಡೆಂಟ್ India is only the country which is going to have excellent advantage of demographic demographic dividends not only now it will uh, continue for 2 3 decades nobody can compete with that uh, advantage and also one of the best market in the world huge market love the land is very very uh, <coughs> advantage factor in india this are all even apart from that english speaking is one more advantage not even america will have that advantage anyway america totally they are speaking english at the end of the day another 10 years india will be the biggest country largest english speaking people will be in india not china not america because of our population advantage we are going to have that advantage even software and technology also we are going to have biggest advantage even on software as on today we are very strong in the near future india will be the largest software technology people all over the world these are all various advantages are there so <clears throat> our friend has rightly mentioned i was cm for uh, united andhra pradesh for 9 years that was the longest tenure now i came different position now i am the chief minister for new andhra pradesh he gave a very good example one example <coughs> fortune 500 companies wanted to set up isb in india they <coughs> they are searching for a venue better venue which is bombay or pune or bangalore or chennai or other places at that time 
<coughs> Mac and Chief Rajit Gupta was uh, coordinating. Then I telephoned to them important people in the panel, including Kadrej and other people. I requested them why to come to Andhra Pradesh. They said it is not in our agenda because we are not considering Hyderabad, so we are not coming. Then I requested them as a chief minister, I am requesting you. Anyway, you are uh, going different places in a flight. Why can't you have a halt in Hyderabad? With great difficulty, they accepted. Then they came to Hyderabad. I gave a presentation. I told everything. Then they asked me, because it is, an, it is a self-financing model we are working, we are putting initial investment. So what is the facility you are going to give? Then I told them, Forget about all these things, you go to different states, take their offer, don't refer it to me, make it plus one, send it to me, I will honor that uh, offer. Then they went to different uh, states, they had different experiences. Ultimately they thought Andhra Pradesh is the best state. Then they sent a vote to me, yes, we have finalized Andhra Pradesh, that is how I got ISP in Hyderabad. Now it is doing very well. At that time, <clears throat> even MBA was not that popular. Slowly now, everywhere, every college, we are offering MBA courses. So that is how even so many stories, even Microsoft I brought to Hyderabad, flagship company. Then uh, even Bill Gates came to Hyderabad. Bill Clinton voluntarily came to Hyderabad to witness the development. Now today, Hyderabad is a knowledge state, a city. Compared to Bangalore, now it is doing very well. Now I came different position now. My party is there in Telangana and also Andhra Pradesh. And also we are in coalition in Delhi. We are having two ministers in Delhi. This is a new position I came. But this new state, because all investors are here, it is an excellent advantage. If you see, for the last nine months, we are able to establish what to do. And also we are having clear-cut agenda and also vision. Now it is a sunrise state of Andhra Pradesh. Our uh, goal is very clear. A society without poverty, a state that is center of technology and a, and a joyous population confident of the bright future. That is our vision. That is how we are going ahead. If you see here, <coughs> Andhra Pradesh, eighth largest state in the country, tenth populous, tenth populous state in the country, and also as on today, because of agrarian state, we are um, having 70 billion US dollars GSTV contribution, 974 kilometers longest long coastline, that is 13 percent of India's coastline, rich natural resources, rapidly urbanizing state, Vijayawada, Visakhapatnam are global cities in the near future. For this, we are able to, as on today, we are taking a vision approach. By 2022, we wanted to be number one among three states in the country. By 2029, we want to be number one in the country. By 2050, we will be number one, best destination at least in the world. That is how we are having vision approach. For that, we are having a focus approach. As on today, seven missions we have created. One is primary, urban, industry, infrastructure, services, and all skill development, and all social empowerment. These are all the mission approach we are taking. We wanted to, as far as possible, we want to work it out with focus, and also we want to converge, and also how to synchronize all these organizations who are working in a